Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and I'm going to bring you some insight into what's happening right now as we're getting wicked to the downside. So short term downside move for Ethereum and Bitcoin grabbing the liquidity that I had marked off here at 1950 and 1975. And basically, I'm looking to uh, well, I'm kind of looking at this hourly time frame for um, <clears throat> for Ethereum kind of in a um, bit of a box like that um, and a range of call it 1900 to the downside and uh, 2138 to the upside going to give us our next major break as this looks like a bit of a bull flag and uh, still holding up still you know uh, holding up and where the measure move off of this bull flag take us for ethereum the question is when break when break so 24, uh, call it $2,500, um, depends on where we break out of it, but definitely don't want to see another lower low. We want to see a higher low, especially on the hourly time frame. I do like that momentum is to the upside right here, as long as we're above 1964, crossing up from a low level. And you can see open interest actually is kind of, uh, waning here so as open interest goes down price does typically go down um what else do i want to bring up we are just dipping our toes back in the bearish control zone on the hourly as well and to be fair the four hour does look a little bit more on the bearish side uh looking for you know possible tag around that 1900 level the 200 exponential and uh one of the, I believe, higher value node areas for Ethereum. Well, let's see, is in the grand scheme of things. Yes, that's right where you're not 0.5 and your 618 is coming in. So, you know, momentum on the 12 hour is still to the upside. So higher term time frame still, you know, look fair to okay. Uh, shorter term time, actually this to be fair is a little bit on the bearish side getting kicked out of the bullish control zone. The question is, do we make one more attempt before playing that uh, pullback? And I'm, I'm leaning towards a bit of a bounce on the shorter term timeframes because I did watch this liquidity grab just, just happen right now. So what happens when you get a big wick like this, people get trapped going short, they throw it back to the top side of the range and First target at 2034, and then the second target would be uh, this trend line. And as long as, well, if we can break above there, here's what I would be looking for Ethereum to break out, come back, put in a higher low, and then and then make its way up to about 2137 if you're trading some of the shorter term time frames for now. Uh, did want to check in on Bitcoin. Was there any news today? Was this any news driven? No. Stocks are, you know, still looking bullish. NVIDIA must have had a bad earnings call for NASDAQ to be down. S&P's down. TLT, the 20-year Treasury bond market, um, probably going to come back and fill this gap at some point. But it does have another gap to the upside. So interesting there. Uh, tether dominance is kind of hovering around here, dancing around, wanting to put a bounce off of this potential support. We want to see this continue to the downside if altcoins are going to begin to rally. Uh, still holding the trend line for total three, so altcoins may still have a chance to rally this weekend. Um, and then lastly, I think Bitcoin. Uh, simply put on the four hour time frame. As long as we are holding this pivot at uh, 35,947, generally looking for trend continuation uh, to the upside. Additionally, you have the silver cross present, and whenever, whenever, 
you see the 21 cross in the green 55. That's the yellow 21 exponential in the green 55. Cross to the upside, momentum is to the upside. And when price action comes into that green 55, uh, typically I find it best on declining volatility, which I do not see my, my standard indicator in there. Let's see here. Back onto Ethereum on the, we're we talking about Bitcoin on the 15 minute. Bitcoin on the hourly, Bitcoin on the four hour. Yes, that was what we were looking at. And this does look like a bit of a trap uh, type formation on the four hour. It's not confirmed yet, but I do like the volume coming in here for this being perhaps, um, is it a W, is it a bat, is it a triangle? I don't know what you wanna call it, sloppy consolidation, but the higher lows, is what I do like. Uh, additionally, on declining volatility below 20 for Bitcoin, below 25, I think is good enough. You wanna see that uh, test of the green 55. This is on the three hour time frame. interesting. And you can get a fairly large bounce from that level. And I do like the trap trap scenario down here got a lot of people trapped the thing is price action likes to come and fill the wicks maybe one more time we uh tap this trend line a little bit stronger maybe wick down a little bit lower and then send it to the upside that's i think a fair to midland uh suggestion there bitcoin if you take suggestions um other than that i think i'm going to take this off i'm going to touch on Let's just check in on some of the altcoins here. Injective, trying to do the same thing, putting in a bit of a, um, you know, a lot of these are kind of coming in these massive uh, ascending triangles, descending triangles, whatever you want to call them. Massive ascending and descending triangles. And um, I'd say this looks a lot more like a pennant Something like this. And a break of this guy is going to likely, uh, you know, get you the next momentous move to the upside of the downside. And well, goose the odds in the favor of the bulls. Why is that? Well, you know, look at the, the chances of trend continuation are uh, higher than not, I would say. Higher than not. <laughs> Um, additionally, you're going to have momentum on the hourly crossing up from an extremely low level and the RSI getting way down there. Are we printing any bullish divergence coming back from this pivot here? I believe so a few drives. So I would say, yep. If we do confirm this back above 1550, um, I would be looking at a minimum touch of 17 bucks again for Mr. Injective. This one is getting tired though on the daily time frame and kind of the last chance to bounce or not. Otherwise, uh, you know, next kind of main area of interest is going to be that green 55 or this level down here at 11 bucks. Wow. Do you think you'd see the day for uh, $11? Injective. Axel, following up on this one from yesterday, kind of giving us our um, idea here that uh, perhaps uh, we were going to have a pullback from that region yesterday. Why is that? Well, if we use Tau as a guide for a new altcoin that has a low market cap that's going to get a lot of attention. Um, the first time we made a shot at the 786, well, price action came all the way back down to the 236. So if you felt like you messed out, not too late if you took a late long. And uh, we just ticked below yesterday's low at 58 cents, 58.50. Probably time to let that one go and look at entering at a lower price. Um, but overall, if we get the explosion we're hoping for on this one long term, 264, um, 
Don't ask me why, but just look what happened with Tau. Uh, Tau, again, basically a meme coin, doesn't mean anything, but the first run up at the 786 through back down to the 236, consolidated for a while, and then exploded to the moon. So um, just keeping an eye on these two tokens in the back of our mind's eye. Other than that, guys, I think it's a good time for me to wrap this one up. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.